In the northern Great Plain, lives a tribe called Comanche. A young woman Nera lives with her family there and as well she practices hunting with her dog Sari. One day, Nera sets off for hunting with an aim to track down the predator. She comes up with a way of throwing and retrieving her hatchet while walking with Sari and coming across a field of skinned bison. Meanwhile, Nera slipped into a deep pit of mud and begins to sink. She throws the hatchet attached to a rope and manages to hook herself onto a tree stump to pull herself out. She finds Sari and encounters a bear. The beast chases after Nero, but she manages to hide. As the bear was searching for her, it is found by the predator. The bear puts up a good fight and nearly overpowers the hunter, but the predator ends up punching it hard enough to kill it, before picking the bear up and covering itself in its blood, allowing Nehru to see the predator clearly. Nehru runs and escapes by going down under the river stream. Members from Nehru's tribe were looking for her as they were ordered by his brother Tabe to find and bring her home. Nehru fights one of the men, but when almost overpowering him another member helps him knock her out. The men tie her up and prepare for the attack. only for the predator to gain the upper hand with its sniper projectiles and take out one of the men. Nehru escape as the men begin to get slaughtered. She manages to run but ends up getting her foot caught in a trap. She is then knocked unconscious by French fur trappers. Nehru is taken in as a prisoner and treated terribly by the trappers. 
One of the French femme men speaks to Nehru in English to ask her about the predator. She then knew they were the men that skinned the bison. His brother Tabe was also brought out and they were both tied to a tree to be used as a bait for the predator. The trappers set up vantage points to stalk it, but they are found first as the predator slaughters the first group. Another group managed to get the predator's foot caught in a bear trap, but even as it is cornered, the hunter uses its advanced traps and gadgets to kill the trappers and break free. Nera tells Tabe that the predator didn't see her as a threat, she manages to escape with his brother. Nera got back to the trapper camp and kills the remaining men before freeing Sari. She is found by a wounded French man, who offers to show Nehru how to use his gun in exchange for medical help. She gives him herbs and tends to his wound, as his foot was badly injured by the predator's trap. She also sees that the herbs help reduce his body temperature, and therefore will make it harder for the predator to spot them. Suddenly the predator arrives and she hides. It didn't see the man until it steps on his wound, and he screams, prompting the predator to kill him. Tabe arrives on a horse to rescue Nehru, telling her that she needs to run because the predator sees him as the threat. They try to hide from it but the predator deeply cuts Tabe. It spots Nehru, but Tabe uses his last breaths to distract the hunter before releasing a killer blow. Nehru runs and cleans herself up but mourns Tabe.
After mourning his brother, she went into the woods and finds the trapper leader. She attacks him and injured his foot, using him as bait the same way they did to them. She waits for the predator to arrive and hides her heat signature with the herbs. The predator kills the trapper, but Nehru uses the gun she was given to hit the predator in the head. She takes its helmet and runs into the woods. She then trapped the predator in the mud pit she fell into, and then corners it with its own helmet, causing it to get deep cut through the head with its arrows. Nehru returns to the village with Sari and brings the predator's head. News of her return spread across the northern Great Plains, she warns her tribe about their threats, meaning they have to look for a new home. 
The tribes celebrated her great victory and courage that made her kill the predator and the French for men.